Hello and welcome friends, Frenzy here bringing you more Kerbal Space Program mod overview. Today we're going to go ahead and have a little bit of fun, we're going to look at the Kerbin Shuttle Orbiter uh, mod pack. So, not too dissimilar from the SpaceX pack, there's actually multiple packs that you can kind of download that kind of fall under the KSO packs, but for the sake of, I thought, really getting to the heart of what the Kerbin Shuttle Orbiter pack is all about is the shuttle. So there's other packs that have different types of shuttles, um, as well as some various other parts that you can kind of take a look at, but I thought I would really just focus on the shuttle itself. Um, building a shuttle really is one of the hardest things to do in Kerbal Space Program. You have to deal with you know, the, the varying thrusts of SRBs, um, the, you know, center of mass as well as the center of thrust, and when you're coming down and landing as well as the center of, you know, lift as well, it's balancing the center of mass and the center of lift. You know, so you have all these things to really deal with, particularly if you're dealing with um, firm aerospace, you know, as well as deadly reentry, you have to consider that too. So there's a lot that goes into making a shuttle. Um, one of my previous videos, I made a shuttle, and it was really, really fun. I love making shuttles just because they are such a challenge, but it can be a hassle. So if you're ever just interested in kind of having a pre-built shuttle, um, the parts are fairly pre-built uh, for the most part. You know, they set the gimbling kind of what it needs to be set at. As you see, the SRB's jettison, which looks pretty dang cool, if you ask me. Um, now we just have this big external fuel tank on there, so looks pretty cool. But, again, if you're just kind of building a sh if you just want a quick shuttle just to kind of have some fun with, this is a great way to go. And it's just kind of a fun thing to do. You know, there's a lot of reward in building your own shuttle, but if you're just kind of new and you're starting out, but you kind of want to have experience with a shuttle, this is a good way to go. You know, it's kind of a good way to get some experience. Uh, I used this mod long, long ago before I was nearly good enough to start building my own shuttles. Um, probably still not that good, but <laughs> better than I was. And so, you know, I kind of started out with this realize, you know, oh, you got to gimbal engines, you know, this thing has to be, you know, obviously aerodynamic as it comes down through the atmosphere as well, which can be its own challenge. So there's, uh, there's a lot to it. And this is a good way to start out. Plus, it just looks really cool. You know, it's hard to get the look of a, you know, kind of space shuttle, similar to, you know, NASA space shuttle. Correct. Uh, so that's always fun, too, is when you can kind of get that look really hammered down. As you see, um, Slip it into orbit, just kind of making some some editing here just to kind of get you through to the process of me actually <laughs> attempting to land it. Uh, so landing anything in Kerbal Space Program can be a bit of a challenge, even with the trajectory mods as well as the flight indicator mods, which I'm using as well uh, for a little bit of help here, which always useful, always useful for sure. Mods that I'll, I'll probably have to detail at some point as well, just because they're really cool. You see, we're cutting through the atmosphere. I, I had a lot of trouble getting this thing to actually go through with deadly re-entry as well as fair motor space. Uh, you know, the actual sh shuttle tends to pitch up a lot more uh, to kind of focus that heat shield, but I found when, when I did that, I really caught the air in fair motor space, and it just flipped me out everywhere, so I had to really gradually come in, which that is realistic. Uh, you see my air brake here, which is kind of cool element there. Uh, this thing is very touchy. I think it has a lot of SAS force, and I probably could use fine controls to make that a whole lot easier, but it's it can be a little bit touchy <laughs> in your mind landing here. Is, uh, I'm coming in extremely fast here, uh, and it's it's very difficult. Again, fine controls probably would help me a little bit, but it was just hard. It was hard. You know, it just wanted to go every which way. <laughs> As you see, I kind of have an interesting touchdown here, and then I think I accidentally uh, dropped or raised the landing gear, rather. I was trying to hit B, and I hit G to raise the landing gear, so I kind of have a bounce off the runway. And this thing really cuts through like a knife through butter if you're using fair aerospace. <laughs> like, it, you will infoglide if you want to with this thing. You know, with the power of the SAS, uh, as well as the aerodynamic properties of this vehicle, you will cut through the air real quick as you see me here. Um, I have the improved chase camera as well, which kind of makes things pretty cool too. So just coming around again for a second pass <laughs> because it has that much force. Obviously, if the actual space shuttle came down, probably wouldn't get a second opportunity like this. Um, it's... It's interesting just because of how powerful you know, the sink can glide, how easily the sink can glide, and as well as how powerful the SAS is to give you extra force to move forward. 
And so we're going to come in here for a second attempt, trying my best. It is just wiggling and wobbling. It is very hard to control. Um, again, that's probably just as much my fault as uh, the mod itself, <laughs> as I'm trying to go swerve back and forth along the runway here. Uh, not the easiest thing, as we kind of, okay, yep, yep, go to the right, there we go. And it is, it is a struggle to slow down, for sure, with this, so... It's a cool mod, though. It's definitely one worth checking out, especially if you're new to orbiters or shuttles or anything like that. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Feel free to make comments, suggestions. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed, and hit the like button as well. And I'll see you guys next time.